What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read through of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big Papa Pump uh, without the pump. I am the rock that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. I am T B R Terabyte Reacts and I would just like to say you're welcome. Welcome back guys to another read through of one of the greatest shows, animes, mangas to have ever been written. We are here once again with Hajime no Ippo. Today, continuing from chapter 631, as I said to you guys before, you know, um, I don't want to do, um, you know, uh, to go over like what I'm doing with Berserk. Um, I, I know I should, but I don't have um, Ippo in volume form, so it it's probably will take me more time to go through those 10 chapters we did last time. Um, so... I'm going to continue what I've been doing here over here, okay, and just keep it like that because it's a little bit easier with Berserk because I just have the volume. I know exactly what I did, so it's a bum, 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 so to go at all the way from 620 right now would be, yeah, clicking next, 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 <laughs> you know, it's a bit of a pain, but anyways, I'm lazy for some things, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, man. So, if I should do a recap, we're going to continue to do it in words um, as much as I can remember. Now, we know that Ippo is getting ready for, you know, for a chance to fight Miata, right? But they both have fights that they have to fight. Um, two, two of them got to defend their title. Um, and then they'll be able depending on how things go then they'll be able to fight <laughs> right i am hoping that both of them win but i don't know if that's where the story is going to take us right that's the gist of what's going on there's nothing you know that's the biggest thing that is going on right now there is some concerns there are some concerns you know, I am worried that they might not meet in the ring this time around either because that is the fight that the fans all want to see. So if I was a writer, I would stretch it for another for another time and let the fans wait because uh, Miata versus Ippo, you know, they might not meet until the world stage, which in some ways, I would want them to wait, but in some ways, me as a fan sitting down right here, I want it to happen now so we can at least know where their skills are between each other. Because in my opinion, I believe those are the two best fighters in their weight class right now in the country, in the region, right? So if we wait until the world stage to see them fight, we might not be able to see both of them at their best right now i think they're at their best as not the best that they could be but at the peak of where they can be um in their respective um regions right of what they represent you know um ippo is the the what the featherweight champ right featherweight japan featherweight champ and um, Miata is the Oriental champ, right? So, um, let's jump into these chapters, man. Let's jump into these chapters. Let me not waste your time any longer. So, let's just scoot on over and get into these chapters, all right? So, we're going to start off with um, chapter 631. Let's get it popping, okay? Got Ippo training a boxer I never wanted to fight. He's out here shadow boxing, right? It's like, wah! 
just seeing him shadow i'm thinking they missed a word there <laughs> just seeing him shadow puts my hair on end look close that's ippo's hook says kimura he puts his head in line with his pivot foot he puts his head in line with his pivot foot and he uses it to spin around kind of like a top okay I'm getting some boxing explanation here i'm gonna have to try to keep an eye on the feedback station right so like a top right it helps to lower your center of gravity so you can hit faster it's another part of the dempsey roll okay is that aoki <laughs> he looks different pretty sure it, it must be right the hook is a classic favorite of infighters but you're only able to use it if you place your full weight on the forward leg. So, how many rounds do you think you could keep this up for? So you need a ridiculously strong lower body is what you're telling me. Yeah, that's very true. Put the full weight of your body onto... Um, and rotate what is it why are they leaving out words put the full weight of your body onto and rotate so much that your opponent can see your back with the fist power increased by the centrifugal force there aren't many men alive who can stand through it You're damn right we already know he's unique even if it's dodged, it feels like the wind from it would knock you over. <laughs> it was like, KO someone with wind? <laughs> so Aoki's like, I wasn't actually serious, Takamura. <laughs> There's no way that could happen. You mean like this? Oh, did he... Did he hit him or did he hit him with wind? Or this is that damn it what did you throw at me <laughs> he threw something at me. it's like what are you doing says Ippo it's like Tagaki says don't mind them they've got too much time on their hands I've got a little free time too so if you don't mind me asking are you free tomorrow night Itagaki says to Ippo Ippo responds, tomorrow? All right. The All Japan Rookie King Finals. I'll go. I'll go. It'll be interesting. Oh, yeah. Itagaki can't be in the finals because he's hurt. Right? You think West Japan's Hoshi Hiroki will be here? Since you pulled out, I doubt he's come all the way from Hosaka just to watch. Damn it, I was hoping to at least see his face. Down! Okay, somebody just won. The match is over. West Japan takes the bantamweight crown as well. This makes three wins for the West. They're very strong this year. They're really into it. And if I wasn't hurt, I'd be there too. I wanna, I wanna. Hippo says, I thought you might say that. Ah. And now, we continue. With the junior lightweight division. Okay, Hippo, that day. Okay, been a while since we've seen that day. Why does it look like he's training someone? Wait a minute, Date training someone? That could be serious. Okay, so Ippo sees Date's Date-san. He turns around. Makarochi! We lost our... We lost our... My, our man got KO'd. <laughs> Your boy is like, you have my condolences. 
And he says, I thought for sure he'd be the first ranker for, for a gym. Damn it. Itagaki, you can transfer to our gym. <laughs> Kamagawa's got Takamura and Makanauchi. They don't need you. <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> uh, Ippo is like, please don't scout in a place like this. And that is like, but it's such a waste. You have the box and sense to give Makanauchi a run for his money. But if you're in the same gym, you can't even try for the belt unless he loses. And Itagaki responds, when the belt's not his, I intend to bring it back to the Kamigawa gym. And he's like, hmm. Speaking of, there's been a rumor floating around. This will be your last defense that Makanouchi Ippo will soon be fighting in the OPBF or higher. And Ippo looks down and is like, ah. And it seems to be true. I'm sorry. Um, Ippo says, um, I'm sorry. It seems foolish looking on it now. That is a silly kid. I think it's great. You've already defended it six times, right? There's nothing wrong with looking up while you're still young. It must be nice for Kamagawa-san having such a good flock. But still... It's not bad to look up. But are you being sure to check below too? What does that mean? Ippo says below. He says, back when I first took the Japanese title, I was young and spirited like you. But there was one guy I absolutely didn't want to fight. And when he finally challenged me, I got pretty chicken. And he said, Tatisan, you were scared? And he says he was a genius at finding weaknesses. He always did what the other guy didn't want him to do. Everyone's worst opponent. I'm not sure why, but he pulled back his challenge. We never fought, and I may have been very lucky. I says, lucky? You mean that if you had fought, he may have won? That day responds, I didn't think I'd lose but I didn't have any confidence that I could win either. And the name of that boxer? Ippo asked. Back then, he was ranked first seed. Take Keiichi. I don't know who Take Keiichi is, but I guess we're going to find out. Okay, next chapter, guys. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Chapter 6. 32. All right. He was, like, he was ranked first in those days. That day continues. Take Kiichi. Ah, I see. In the end, it was him. I knew that it it that it be him. Take Kiichi, the opponent for Senpai's next title defense. All right, hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second, because I completely forgot that he's about that. This is a dude that he's about to fight. Okay, like, don't get me. It's been a month since I did this, guys. So, just bear with me for a second. Bear with me for a second, because this is a guy that he's that Ippo is supposed to fight. So, I didn't even recognize the name because the name didn't seem familiar to me. It didn't seem like it was that guy. The name just didn't seem familiar. It feels like it's the first time I'm hearing the name. So forgive me, guys, for not remembering that. Um, does this come as a surprise to you? What do you think about all, all of this? Well, in my mind, he doesn't come out the way that you describe. It's a guy that's like, so the, the guy that Ippo is about to fight, if I remember correctly, the dude is like really happy-go-lucky. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's really happy-go-lucky. Like, he's happy. I think he got a son. Or, yeah, I think he got a son. Or is it? Yeah, it's a son. I think he got a son or a daughter or something like that. But he's really, like, upbeat. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not... He's very pure. He's not like, you know, how they've depicted opponents in the past where it's kind of like they have this evil upbringing. You know what I'm 
<laughs> not really evil upbringing, but you get what I'm trying to say. Like, they always try to kind of pass him off as the bad guy. As you find out more about this story, they're kind of like doing it for a specific purpose, the way how they are. Their background kind of defines them in a certain way, but he's just like a regular dude. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, I just, I just didn't remember the name. I don't, did they mention the name? But anyways, all right. Well, I, for one, says Itagaki, I'm surprised. So this guy was ranked first when Date was in his prime, and now he's ranked first again. Just how many years has he been at this? That's exactly it. That tenacity of his. That was what I didn't want to go up against. But why he pulled out of our fight is a mystery to me to this day. Even so, I still remember clearly the bad vibes he gave off. I had great respect for Dateichi. Okay, so he's doing this is I guess this is Taki doing an interview with the um lady from the from the papers. It's like from out of nowhere he took the Japan title in only his sixth match. He was the one who shined above all the rest in our generation. I wanted to test my strength and so I challenged him to a match. But I heard you withdrew your challenge. It was bad timing, really. My son got sick, and I was hospitalized. And was hospitalized. Anyway, I wanted to be with him, so I had to give up boxing for just a bit. Did he ever recover from this? Sure did. He's healthy enough to be running around all day now. Oh, some nice cheeks. <laughs> when he was discharged from the hospital... I was so happy, I just wanted to stay by his side forever. Hell, I even considered retiring from the sport right then and there. But you came back to the ring? After he left the hospital, my son wouldn't leave the house. For a whole year, he locked himself inside of his room. Inside of his room? But why? Dad. Did you run away from a strong champion, Dad? That's what everybody else is saying. Dad, did you really run away? And she asks, was he being bullied? And he replies, let's just say that the world's full of cruel people. And that both my son and I were hurt by this. I want him to grow up strong, so it's my wish to show him the back of a father whose fights who fights his very best. It's because of this that I'll withstand anything. I won't fall even if I die. Now that my title match has finally been set, I can show my boy his pop fighting his pop fighting in top form for ten rounds. Are you planning on going the full 10 rounds against Makanouchi Ippo? And he says, thank you for the coffee. And she says, but that's crazy. He's like, even so, I'm sure the pain my son felt was worse. Words strike at your heart. Sometimes that hurts more than being hit. Uh, that's That's true, you know. Because it strikes at your heart. I get that. Powerful line. If I just keep that in mind, I can survive through as many hits as it takes. As he hits the wall. or Yeah, he hits the wall. Or did he just pump his fist? I don't know. He never, He's never lost by a KO even once. I can see why. The problem here is, what happens if you can't knock him out? You could be dominating the entire match, but if the fight goes past that final round, as Date is still talking to the boys, as long as your opponent's still standing, then he can still win, and that's just how boxing works. Do you get why I didn't want to fight him now? That's That guy is pushing 30, so there's no doubt his body's starting to fall apart on him. However... That also means he will be more determined than ever this time around. 
You better watch out. Veterans are capable of many things. Just remember, it's good to look ahead, but be sure to check below so you don't trip over anything. Tagaki says, it's going to be a KO victory. No need to worry. <laughs> Tate says, you fool. You're not the one who's going to be fighting. <laughs> you know? Hippo clenches his fist. You know? He's like, Ugh. As he says, I, I, I can't believe this. What have I been looking at? When I shadow box, who am I looking at? Who is it on the other side of that mirror? He's still looking at Miata when you should be concentrating on your opponent. Okay, I got completely carried away. I wasn't paying attention to what was right in front of me. What's wrong with me? Is that Senpai? What in God's name are you doing? You scared the hell out of me. Don't go acting weird like that all of a sudden. Did Date-san say something to make you break down like that? And he's like, no. Geez, then, then what is it? Maybe it was a mistake to ask you to come to the hall with me then. And Ippo says, it's good that we came. Talking with Date-san made me realize something important. And that was that I can look ahead later. But for now, I need to focus on what's in front of me. That's powerful. That's powerful, man. And in, in, in true form, as always, Date with the knowledge, you know, Date with the knowledge. Thank you so much, Date-san. You've opened my eyes. Hey, wait up for me. Wait up for me. As Ippo takes off, like, where are you going? Don't leave me behind. <laughs> my legs haven't healed yet. <laughs> so Ippo is now walking, walking, thinking. Soon the poster for my title defense will be put on display. There's only one more month until the match. I'll be desperately training myself until then. Here comes Itagaki, finally catches up with Ippo. There you are. You know my legs are killing me right now. <laughs> Like, I I'm sorry. No worries. It's good to see you so excited for your fight. I don't know much about him, and I don't have a game plan yet. All I know is that he's a stubborn and very persistent old man. It's funny out there here calling somebody in their 30s or late 20s a old man. <laughs> I'll fight that way too, says Ippo. I'll be persistent too. It's a shame I don't know much about my next opponent, however. That's why I'm going to do everything that I can and give it all. My all. <laughs> okay. I'll keep on throwing punch after punch right from the start and until the last bell sounds. I'll only concentrate on what's in front of me. I'll keep at it. Do whatever it takes and give it all that I've got. Some more cheeks. <laughs> He'll just be persistent and keep at it too, huh? It's when Senpai gets into that kind of mindset that he's the most frightening. When there's no hesitation in Senpai's fist, it's hard to withstand even one shot. Going back to the reporter, word strike at your heart. It can hurt more than being hit. Then he may be able to endure it all. A man that's still standing is a man who can win. And veterans don't let a single chance to win escape them. In a way, he's a very scary man. As we see Take with his son. Ippo reflects both of them. is <laughs> like, no matter how many punches he throws, I'll take it. As many times as it's going to take, I'll hit him. <laughs> with the split screen. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got Ippo running beside the train, beside the train, training. I need stamina to keep on punching. Stamina. More stamina. I need to be strong. I need to be persistent. I need the strength 
to punch for ten rounds straight. Stamina, I need stamina. Here comes Pops. Code says, "Break time." After you catch your breath, hit the punching bag. He's like, "Yes, sir." The coach looks like the one who needs a breather. He's the one I feel sorry for. <laughs> He's breathing hard over there, huh? I feel even more sorry for Senpai's opponent. His motto for this fight is be persistent and keep on punching. Jeez, that's gotta suck, man. I wouldn't even want to take just one punch. You looking to die an early death? <laughs> Says Taka Takamura is talking to the coach. He's like, you looking to die an early death? <laughs> He's like, shut the hell up. Well, unlike yourself, it seems Date has become a good leader. Man, there's nothing Pops has got that I'm lacking in. <laughs> the Takamura. It's like, hmm. Since all of his attention has been focused on his match against Miata, I was planning on knocking some sense into him. But now, it seems he's already gotten some excellent advice to put him into the right mindset. Now that I think about it more, Ippo hasn't fought against many veterans. I mean, outside of the match with Date, the old man only had 20 some odd fights though. And this geezer that he's fighting has more than 30 fights. So, going up against experience, he's got to come with it. He's got to come with it. And I, I'm agreeing with them. He's got to come with it. I'm like the mindset. The mindset that he has right now is very much so I love it. I love the mindset that Ippo came out with after he spoke with Date. Like, you got to focus about what's in front of you at the time. Focus on the opportunity that's here now. Don't, you know what I'm saying, when it's presented to you. Because you might be so focused on your longer-term goals that you fail at your short-term goals, which is something that I, I I don't like to do. Or I when I mentor people, I tell them to make sure that they focus on the short-term goals and just have long-term goals, you know, in, in far ahead. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what they're there for. So, it's going to be hard for the kid to fight according to his own rhythm and pace in the whole match. I'm sure he come up with a few ways to take the momentum away from a much younger opponent. Should have read that first. Sorry, I thought I read it before. <laughs> but anyways, and if his rhythm's broken, there's a chance the match may end in a decision. Or even worse, on top of not being able to hit anything, it's quite possible he's he'll lose by KO. Small Fry never seemed to run out of worries. In order to regain his rhythm, it'll take stamina. That's what he's working on now. And he'll need it if he wants to keep on again they missing a word again right there. And he'll need it if he wants to keep on punching and take the pace early. During the Karasawa match, he showed a side of him that was even more earnest than a Yokozuna. This is the kid's true form. All his progress, all his experience, he'll need to throw it all out there. The challenge for the seventh defense, Takekiichi versus Makano Uchipo. Oh look, this year's Champion Carnival is starting already. The This match is for tomorrow. Hey, it's going to have Makana Uchi. I got to see this one. But who's his opponent for it? Some old guy that nobody even knows. He's so going to kick his ass. We're going to see a KO win for sure. Okay, here we go with the way. The challenger still isn't here. Hmm, it's been quite some time too. If he's late for the weigh-in, then he should just be disqualified. But he's a veteran, so I bet it's all part of some scheme of his. Stay calm and be on the alert, kid. I can't say I'm all that calm, since this will be my first time meeting Takesan in person. I wonder what kind of guy he is. He's late, coach. Please calm down. <laughs> like, I guess we'll have to weigh the champ in first i'll wait to show the challenger inside that case inside in that case the challenger is finally here okay so he's here 
he's lit and he's like, huh? Why are they saying, huh? All right, 634, let's get it. All right. He apologizes. Apologies. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm so late. And he's got... Okay, what in... He's coughing he's like it's cold up here in Tokyo. And the hair is pretty bad as well. And he's like, do you have a cold? Are you going to be okay? He's like, don't get any closer to me. I don't want to get the champion sick too. He's like, but, but come on now. This man is coughing. He, bruh. Is this a joke? He's like, huh, can we get on with the weigh-in? <laughs> he's like, what are you talking about? He can't fight in that state. Bruh, you better calm down. He's like, I'll go through it. And he's like, but come on now. He'll just get worse if you take off all of your clothes. He's like, don't worry about me, none. <laughs> he's like, he just falls on the ground. He's like, don't come any closer. I don't want to get you sick. His weight's within the limit. Take Senshu's cleared. Ta Take Senshu's. Oh my god. Take Senshu's. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Take Senshu's cleared. He's okay to fight. This is turning out to be quite the way in. He's still coughing. Hurry up and get your clothes on. Huh? Excuse me? Don't you think it's best if we go ahead and postpone the match? I don't want you to fight in your current condition. And he's like, don't worry about it. We can still fight later after you're better. If it's okay with you, let's just postpone the match for now. And he says, you sure are a nice guy. I'm thankful for your concern, but there ain't no way we're going to postpone this match. After so many wins and losses, I've finally made it to my 34th match. Made it to my title match. At this point in my career, there ain't going to be no more second chances. So I don't got no other choice but to... <laughs> he starts coughing again. He's like, Duck is on. He's like, you're still pretty young, so you don't understand just yet. But I'm already 31. This right here is probably going to be my very last chance. And he was thinking, oh, I see. This man suffered through countless death matches. No matter what his condition is, he's finally made it this far. The fight tomorrow will be a memorable one for me. Because in spite of everything that's passed, I'm going to get a title match. And I'll be able to remind myself that if you keep at something long enough, eventually something good's about to happen. Great attitude to have. I mess with that real heavy. Alright. I'm also glad to have an opponent who's such a genuinely good guy. But it's just my luck. I had to go out and get myself sick. And I'd intended on going all out too. How <laughs> But please don't hold back on me any. A <laughs> boy's sweating. It's, like a, it's time for me to weigh in. The champ is okay as well all right so Ippo passes the way in okay even though it's good that both of the fighters pass the way in this still doesn't feel right the challenger is obviously going through so much pain the thought of him banged around by Makanochi's punches in his state it scares the hell out of me I don't think I could bring myself to hit him if it were me and you're saying that in front of Ippo that's great Takesan. Given your current condition, you're probably not in the best shape to fight right now. Who is saying that to him? And he's like, ah, don't pity me. I don't know how much pain you've endured throughout your career, but as a fellow boxer, I think that I can understand your feelings somewhat. So I want to live up to all your expectations tomorrow. Let's have a good fight. I will also be giving it everything I have, says Ippo. Great. Okay. So now then, if you'll excuse me, and he leaves, Taki leaves, he's like, man, I feel bad for him. To have a match while you're in such 
bad shape. I hope he gets at least a little bit better by tomorrow's match. So, <laughs> the other coach looks like he's about to laugh. He's like, he was like, it's not funny. I'm really worried about him. And Kamagawa is like, that guy's a class act. And he's like, huh? He was faking it. <laughs> Trying to get, in, get into his head. I was thinking that too, that he might be faking it. Um, and, and Ippo felt hook, line, and sinker. You know what I'm saying? But I, <laughs> this dude, man, he's like, that guy's a class act, huh? It's like, he was faking it. Faking? When you extend your, when you extended your hand, he didn't let you touch him, did he? That was probably so you couldn't confirm if he had a fever or not. And he's like, that's impossible. But he even warned me telling me not to catch his cold, and he said it all so nicely too. It was all a plan to take advantage of your generosity and make you careless. You could tell. From the look he had in his eyes, right after you said you would be giving it your all. It was all in the expression on his face. That's horrible. So it was all just an act, all part of some scheme? I don't get it at all. <laughs> Rather than pouting, why not just stick to your words and give it your best shot? He's like, oh, okay. He's a pretty shrewd veteran. To think that he'd play mind games like this. Only a coward would try to pull off something like this. Make sure you don't fall for any more of his tricks. He's like, huh? I don't appreciate that the opponent's trying to get us to sympathize with him. And when you consider how late he was, there's just no excuse for his actions. He's pretty upset right now. Looks like the coach, the one who was affected the most by their plan. It's like, yeah, kid. And he's like, yes, sir. Give it your all right from the start. Use your strength to put an end to his shenanigans. Uh, yes, sir. I'll do my best. I'll put all these mixed feelings aside and start fighting the very moment the bell rings. But... I finally made it to my 34th match, made it to my title match. I could feel how he felt about the match. He was full of desperation. I'm sure of it. That part wasn't an act. It wasn't a lie. Seems the fake illness plan was a complete failure. <laughs> you damn right. It's like, it would have been so much easier if your coffin fooled him and he let his guard down. I think Makanauchi actually believed me that in that whole entire time, and despite all that, he said that he'd be given it his all. He's a good guy, one with honest eyes, a truly good person. Keiko-san and Hidebu should be along before the right rolls, before the fight rolls around. I'm guessing that's his wife and son. Rest up so you can take them to see the sights. Hmm. I can stop a man who only ever looks ahead of himself and doesn't mind where he's walking. But he's careful to mind where he steps. Those honest eyes were staring straight at me. Straight. Okay, so that's how I'll get him then. Plan A may have failed, but I've still got plan B and C, then the belt will definitely be mine. I don't know, man. <laughs> are you going somewhere, Ippo? Next chapter, we had 635, right? Yeah. Are you going somewhere, Ippo? Yeah, I have a match tonight. I have to get to Karku in all hall. Lepo is talking to his mom. Be careful, would you? Try not to get yourself hurt. I can't make it out completely unhurt, but... He's always looking at his dad. I'm heading out. Have a safe match. Alright, so... He's on his way to the match. Let's go. It's like, wow... All right, let's take a break here. Come back for part two. All 
All right, we are back. All right. Dad's box and posters are everywhere. Over there and over here and here. This is this is Take's son. Amazing. Dad's like a celebrity here in Tokyo. Hey, Dabu. Dad, it's good to finally see you again. Aha, I'm glad you made it, hey, Dabu. Hey, Dabu. He's been running all around like this ever since we got to Tokyo. It's a wonder he hasn't gotten lost yet. He's like, thanks a lot, Keiko. Dad, look it, look. Hmm. They've even got a theme park. It looks like a lot of fun. Do you think we can go? It's like your father has an important job to do first. After it's done, we can have as much fun as you want. It's like, hmm. You can't help it. You're a celebrity after all. But won't we stand out when we have fun later? Can't you tell that nobody knows me here? Do you see anybody looking at me? They may be here for the fight, but does it look like they recognize me now? B but those posters with the big picture of you are everywhere. It's all because my opponent is a celebrity here. That Makanouchi's strength is matched evenly by his fame. I could tell from all the videos we watch that Makanouchi is a really strong champ. He's strong, all right. He's really strong. Just you wait and see, Hidebu. Your, da your dad's gonna have a great match against a strong champ. It's like, dear. Dad, I. It's, it's just. Dad, R. Spit it out, man. <laughs> like, what? Like, what? It's gonna be real busy after the match is over. Everyone here is gonna be focused on me. Just you wait and see, Hidebu. Cause your dad's gonna become the champion tonight. Like, yep, I'll root for you till the end. So do your best. Do your best, dad. Whoa. It's, like, it's about time for the bell to be rung. Oh, so Miata is gonna be watching the fight or no? Since he's probably going to end up as your next opponent, I can't help but be interested in how he'll perform this match. Oh, so Miata is steaming. I see. It's not really on your mind at the moment. Forcing his body into a weight class it doesn't belong in is not only unhealthy, but extremely tough. And winning with that artificially produced body is even harder. That's the thing. That's the thing, too. It's just like, this is one of the things that I that. You know what I'm saying? I get why they do it, but it's like, why? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, ah, man, that's crazy. But anyways, he's doing it and he wants to do it. So do it <laughs> like right now. He's not thinking about me either. I've got more than enough to worry about as it is with the match ahead of me with what it is that I need to. What it is that I need to. It's like, that's right, focus. We just need you to keep focused for now. Just focus on what's in front of you, and little by little, you'll make it to your goal eventually. On the other hand, if one of them fails to reach their destination, maybe these two weren't ever meant to fight again. We'll know the fate of one soon enough. Is it their destiny to meet once more, or will this be the end for them? Now that the semifinal is over, it's time for the people's champion to make his appearance. <laughs> I doubt there'll be any problems since he seemed in good spirits, says Itagaki. Problems against that old geezer, this'll be an easy win. I don't think so I don't think this will be easy will be easy win for him says aoki said did you guys hear about what happened at the weigh-in acting like he was sick to the point of breaking down i don't even know people were still doing that these days even if he came up with 10 tricks like that they'd be reduced to nothing after one of ippo's punch so 10 traps are less than one hit 
Then if he comes up with 11, one punch won't do it. Then he just has to punch him two times. <laughs> Let's not argue about this here. Aoki, Aoki Murasan. Don't combine our names like that. <laughs> Aoki Murasan. Oh my god. I've just got a bad feeling about all this. I think this challenger's got plenty more tricks to lying in wait. Like the frog punch or maybe the double punch. Nah, nothing stupid like that. You use them when you think when you think they're stupid. <laughs> it's like you use them and you think they're stupid. It's like I'm trying to be serious. I'm telling you that he's got more up his sleeve. Anyhow, knowing he's been through 33 bouts does give me the chills. There's no doubt this man surpasses even Aoki in terms of deception by far. Damn straight, a few times over at the least. So it's like Aoki plus Aoki plus Aoki plus... <laughs> no matter how you add it up, it's still pretty weak. <laughs> Takamura is such a troll. He is such a troll, bruh. Well, in other words, it's the very first time Ippo's fighting a veteran with this much experience there's no reason to think he won't give him some trouble isn't that right aokimura <laughs> don't call us aokimura <laughs> oh it's about to start it is now time for the japanese featherweight title match it's time for the long-awaited champion carnival to begin, where the champion from each weight class faces off against their division's first seed. The hotly anticipated featherweight pair will kick things off this year, fighting out of the blue corner, the challenger, Take Kaichi. He's a seasoned veteran who comes to us by way of Fukuoka in Kyushu. This will be his 34th match, but it's first time visiting Kirku in all. Will he show us what his experience brings to the table tonight? Ah, oh, look, it's Dad. Hey, Dad, Dad, Dad. And he holds up his, gives him the fist bump, like, yeah. Was he faking his illness after all then? Well, maybe his goal just passed over. <laughs> you gonna be able to hit a guy you felt sorry for? And Ippo is like, yes, with everything that I have. Is that so? Good. I wonder, normally I don't pay any attention to it really, but on the way out, dad's picture caught my eye. But why? Why did I do that before tonight's match? And now from the red corner. And now, from, oh yeah, and now, from the red corner, it's like, time to go, kid. Yes, sir. The champion, Makana Uchi Hippo. <laughs> All right. Next chapter. We'll fight. It's almost here with the fight. The champion, Makano Chippo Senpai. Go for it, Ippo. He's here. The challenger's greeting. With the belt held high above his head, the Japanese featherweight champ makes his way to the ring. This one will be his seventh defense. The nation's hardest puncher is heading for the ring. Are we in store for yet another KO victory from him tonight? He nears the ring and the tension is escalating. Makanochi knock him down today. Give us a KO. <laughs> That's what the crowd is chanting. It's a, Show us something cool. <laughs> it's like you can tell the fans have great expectations. He's finally set foot inside the ring and throws out some one-twos as he shadow boxes. His eyes never stray from the challenger, Take Kichi. Both our competitors are now in the squared circle. Fighters to the center. The hall falls into a dead silence. What kind of drama will unfold during this year's champion 
carnival. Bold fighters head to their corners, rearing to go. Will the veteran from Kyushu take the belt, or will the young champion kill him with his power? It's time. I can survive through as many hits as it takes. Show me what a veteran can do. The reporter is remembering his words. Take's word. Okay, he's not coughing. Looks like his cold is past. <laughs> so put him down and don't hold back. Ippo's like, I'll do my best. I'll take it right away. No doubt about it. He'll try to lure me out. If he takes the initiative, it's very possible I won't ever get it back. Seconds out. Boom. I've got to take the initiative from the start. Makanochi is young and hungry. Just stay calm and move at your own pace. Go on. Get out there. Take away the initiative. Remain focused. It's like, I, I brought a lot of mantaiko along with me to give Makanochi in exchange for a souvenir of my own that belt <laughs> it's like he seems pretty calm then again he's a veteran after all take take kaishi take kiichi keichi keichi well <laughs> has got a wealth of experience don't fall for his tricks kid but if it's a battle of power it'll be the kids fight so man my men men taiko is a fukuoka specialty dish that's made from the Row of a pollock fish marinated in paprika chili. I don't think I would like that. Fish and I mean paprika chili, that's hot. I don't like fish hot. <laughs> I mean I eat fish, but I don't I don't like it if it's spicy. Like I don't like spicy fish. So but if it's a battle of power, it'll be the kids' fight. Take control of the fight early. All right. Got my. They rang the bell. No, they're both getting ready, putting in their mount guards. Okay, there goes the bell. The opening bell is ring, and that begins the champion carnival. The champ dashes to the center of the ring. And he suddenly hits the brakes. The challenger raises his fist as a greeting. He wants to touch gloves. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, they're going to touch gloves now. They move in closer. And... He fell for a trick. <laughs> the touch gloves trick. It's like, kid, yeah, it's a trick, man. It's like, here's that mental <laughs> mental KO for you. Stand still. Take it like a good boy. Bruh. <laughs> Yo, he fell for it, man, and got hit. Wow. That was cheap, man. That's no way to greet people. Be more caref careful, Makano Uchika. Did he block it in time? Either way, he was still knocked off balance. What a surprising start. He's open now. Go for it. He's coming. Get it together. So Ippo took a punch. Take was about to hit him again. It looked like he blocked it. Oh, Ippo is out here dodging. Come on, Ippo. You need to let him feel you now. You need to let him feel you now. A vicious combination from the challenger. He's setting the pace for the match. Ippo is blocking. I can't let him get control. I need to throw more punches. I have to fight back. You didn't take it. Bruh. He takes another punch. Ippo tries to throw a punch. Ooh. Ippo with the straight right. Come on now. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. Let him feel you. Let him know you out here too. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's like, ha-ha. As he was hit. The champ threw a hard one back, and it was brutal. The challenger staggers back. Yeah, man, let that boy feel you out here. Don't be taking these punches, man. Throw one back. It's like, what the hell was that? <laughs> Take says, what the hell was that? <laughs> Even though I blocked, I still lost it for a second there. It's like, in front of you. 
Whoa! <laughs> what the set? In front of you. Hippo hits him again. But he blocks it this time. He's like, why you? Just stand still, bastard. Ooh! It looked like Hippo hit him again. Bruh, he's like, wow, the champion dishes out his worst as usual. Can the challenger escape from this vicious combination? Bruh, why you already foaming at the mouth? Ooh, Jesus. Ooh. Bruh, if this dude, if he lasts 10 rounds against Ippo, I have to give him his props. I have to give him his props. Look at what Ippo is doing to this man's head, my guy. Look at this man's head. It's deformed. Bruh, if you go 10 rounds taking hits from Ippo like this, you... I have to give you your props. Bruh! Look, dude! Bruh. He's down! The light hits her down. It's like... Bro. I'm not gonna lie, I'm shocked. I mean, all this build up for, for that? But he can't, is he, I mean, there should be, a, what is it, a two, is it a two knockdown rule in this fight? I don't know what the rules are for this fight. I don't know, three knockdowns, three knockdown rule, maybe it's a two knockdown rule. Uh, no, it's probably a three knockdown rule uh, for the round. Let's go to 637. Come on, man. Take, I was actually kind of hoping you put up a fight here. It's like, what amazing power. He's down. We're only 32 seconds into round one. And the champion's attacks have exploded. He's, he's going he's gonna to get up. He's going to get up. The challenger was unable to match the champion's close. Close range superiority, and he was powered down quickly. How bad is he hurt? Is it serious? Will this be the end of the fight? Yeah, they're saying that. I'm a little worried about him, too. It's like, you think it's over? A hidden match with Ippo is suicide. <laughs> the challenger doesn't move. This is... Take isn't weak. At taking damage that punch is monstrous <laughs> that punch is monstrous this is Take's corner his coach saying this bro I was so busy trying to take control that I wasn't paying attention to my punches I don't know how well it landed was it enough so the count is up to five right now it's like, get up, Take. What did you come to Tokyo for? Get up, get up. It was like, was it enough? It's the first round. I don't think eight. Bruh, it's like, that. hey, now, is this really the end? Oh, but he's okay. So he gets up. Okay. <laughs> I was like, this has not been an eight count, but it's like, oh, I took a good one. He, He's up. Okay. The challenger easily lifted lifted his body up at the count of eight did it not affect him after all i mean a lot of boxers do take counts like they take take a seven count take an eight count um and just you know recollect themselves might as well take the extra seconds and not just jump up you know what i'm saying that's a strategy too in boxing so he's as tough as his 33 fight zero ko loss record would lead us to believe he was resting until the eight count. See, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. Uh, can you fight? Just surprise me a little. I'm totally good. All right. So he looks at him. He's like, box. And the fight continues. The champion rushes from the neutral point at the sound of the referee's voice. Is he trying for a first round KO? Go for it, Makanouchi. I heard this guy's never lost by a KO. You'll be the first to give him one. He should still have damage. This is my chance. So Ippo rushes in. What the hell? He's like, hmm? What the hell is he doing here? He's like got steam coming out of his mouth. 
is that the challenger rushes. Is he aiming for another hidden match? He's like, he's not hurt. <laughs> it was like, he's not hurt. I need to be careful. Harden the guard. He's like, his legs are shaking. He's hiding it. <laughs> like, don't be fooled, Brat. He's still hurt. Punch him and he'll go down. But that's the thing. This is the thing. The thing about Ippo a lot of times where I said that, and this is where his inexperience comes in. Um, and we're where I would want him to have that killer mentality like the last match he had, a lot of times he pays too much attention to stuff that don't matter. You get what I'm saying? Yes, you're in the moment. I love when he focuses because when he focuses, he folds niggas, man. He folds. He's folding dudes out here. But for some reason... He's always just not paying attention to the stuff that he's supposed to be paying attention with. And he ends up taking a beating in the ring. When Ippo is focused, he's unbeatable. On There's nobody that can match him and go up against him when he's focused on what he's supposed to be focused on. Like, he, why are you worried if he's, if he's not hurt or not? Regardless of the fact that if he's hurt or not and he's charging at you, the fact is you just knock the dude down. He's not your match in the ring. Come on, man. Ah, it's frustrating sometimes, man, with him. That's why the coach is always screaming at him. It's like, don't be fooled, brat. He's still hurt. Punch him and he'll go down. But he's already there in your face now. Ah, man. It's like, ah, a clinch. He was hurt after all. Did you think? It's like he grabs below the shoulders like a tackle. Like, damn it, get away. Hit him and his legs will give out. It's like still two minutes left. What? Don't let go, Take. Hold on until you recover. As much as I don't like fighters that fight like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is a part of boxing. You know what I'm saying? The, the clinching. It's a part of boxing to, to help you, you know what I'm saying, to rest, use your opponent to rest and to not allow them to punch. You know what I'm saying? So get them apart. Break them up. But clinching won't save him. Ippo has that anti-clinch punch too. He's like, no, he doesn't. Because he's, he's freaking clinching him under his arms. He, he, if he, if you clinch somebody under their arms, how are they supposed to punch you? Come on, man. Pay attention. That anti-clinch punch is not going to work. It's like both of his arms are being held up at the shoulder. You really think he can punch like that? Come on, man. Pay attention. Didn't need Takamura to explain that to you, man. Come on. <laughs> like, so, is that all he can hit is the other guy's back. Like, I see. I can't use my arms. Please get him off me. I was like, thank you. It's like, break, let him go. And as soon as he let go, he gets back in again. It's like, Moogie, ah, he clinches again. Take, break it up. And he, <laughs> it was like, let go of me. Like, break. It's like, what the hell is this? We didn't come here to watch wrestling. <laughs> Fight, damn it. You that scared of Makanouchi? I always heard Kyushu had the bravest man. The audience is in search of a KO now. They boo loudly. Of course, I would have been booing too. That I don't like. I don't like guys that fight like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop it! If he lets go, that'll be beaten. Hey, they boo, honey. You can do it. <sighs> Get your elbow in there and force him off you," says the coach. So Ippo tries to force him off. All right, he gets him loose. It's like he's off. Hit him. His body's open. A left body blow. Oh my God! He puts his shoulder into him now. It's like he rotated into another clinch. That cheap bastard. He's not gonna let him hit, is he? Whatever you wanna call it, this is incredible. I need to learn from this guy. Oh, okay, you're, so, you're trash, bro. <laughs> you're trash. You're trash, bro. Again with this. Let him go. It's like you're pissing me off. Please let go. Let me go. 
Now calm down. You really shouldn't rush things. What do you mean, no, you shouldn't rush things? Huh? I've found your weakness. My weakness? Says Ippo. It's like, break. Both of you, step back. Nice one, Rev. Put some distance between them. He can't clinch now. Kick his ass. <laughs> Why? He's coming again. Don't let him clinch. It's like he punches Ippo in the chest. Okay, so. Uh, it was a fake clinch. It was a trick. Was he leading up to it all this time? <laughs> Aoki's like admiring this dude. He's like, what an incredible trick. It's like. It's like he's favoring his left side. The champion looks to be in pain. I mean, he just hit the dude in the chest. It's like less than 30 seconds left. Incredible. He managed to kill a full minute and a half. It's like, whoa, looks like he made it through round one. The old man's not bad. He managed to fully recover. My weakness. So Ippo now, Ippo is... Ippo is paying too much attention to this guy's words and not focusing on the fight. Everything the guy says, everything, he, he's like focusing on what's not there. You know what I mean? Okay. 638. My weakness? What's he talking about? Phew. At last. So he recovered. Okay. I can relax a little now. He isn't lying. His eyes show he knows something. But what could my weakness be? You see, that's what I'm saying. Focusing on things that don't need to be focused on. The, who the hell cares? I'm still here. I'm still. You're still fighting, Ippo. You're still in a fight. You can't be worried about what your weakness is now. This is not. You're not in training, and your coach tells you, "Hey, I found your weakness. Let's work on it." You're in a fight, so he's trying to get into your head, man. Pay attention. Is there a pattern to my Is there a pattern to my punches? So he's now worried and you know, do I give off a certain signal whenever I step forward or do I leave an opening each time I block? Like what is it? What is it? What is it? I keep thinking that I have so many weaknesses, but I can't figure out which one he could be talking about. Let's see how he reacts to a jab. Oh my god. He's looking out for something, but did he read that or was it just coincidence? Which is it? Maybe he's noticed one of my bad habits. He's like, what are you doing, kid? Hurry up and take the pace. All right, I'll find out soon enough. <laughs> oh, my God. He's hesitating now, you know? The champion dashes forward. He wants to bring this into a close-range battle. Be careful of that clinch. He might try faking you out again. Knock him down before he grabs you. He's like, tighten that guard. Hang in there for now. Like he's fast. His legs are almost intersecting with mine. So if I stick out my arm, he should be in my reach. Now then, let's go. So Ippo punches. And he's not there. So it's like far. He's close enough for our legs to meet. But his head is so far away. How can that be? Because he's probably taking a slight step back or he's weaving. Who knows? Is he going to clinch again or will he punch me this time? And the bell rings. Yeah. The bell rings. End of round round. That's the end of the first round. The champ showed his explosive strength. With that knockdown from out of nowhere. But is the challenger hiding a trump card that will help him make a comeback? Will the champion's raw power be enough to gain victory? Stay tuned for round two of the main event. <laughs> Coach is going to get on your ass. It's like, what the hell was that last shot? Don't go throwing out any half-ass swings. It's like, I'm sorry. It's like, what is it? Is there something bothering you? He... Take-san said he'd figured out my weakness. And he's like, Take told you that? Don't worry, it's only a bluff. You've already knocked him down. Have some confidence in yourself. It's exactly what I'm saying. 
It's like, yes, that's right. Yes, sir. Don't be so damn conceited. So he knows your weakness and what of it? You mean to tell me that you'll overcome it during the course of the match? That's what I'm trying to say. You can't do anything about that right now. You just have to fight. You just have to fight. In, in this moment in time, this is not the time to be focused on what your weakness is. You can't fix that right now. So what's the sense? Why are you going to focus on it and try to figure what about it? It's just going to cause you to hesitate. It's just going to cause you to probably end up losing this match. <sighs> you mean to tell me that you'll overcome it during the course of the match? Did you expect to beat him perfectly? To fight flawlessly? Exactly. From my standpoint, you've got a lot of... Weakness. Shut up, Siri. From my standpoint, you've got a lot of weaknesses. Even so, you always beat the odds by bulldozing forward and throwing out punches. Right? No more half-assed punches. Give it your all out there. Don't forget what makes you, you. Ippo says, yes, sir. That's right. Don't worry about anything else. Just move forward and slug it out. That's all that there is to it. Okay. 639, guys. All right. Confused depth perception. Round two. I had no idea. Okay. What, what the hell? I must have been. Okay. Move forward and slug it out. Don't worry about anything else. Don't worry. It's very strange. The kid has controlled the match so far, yet he's the one who's nervous. Is there something more to what Take told him? Something that could only be known after fighting him? That left hook. I had no idea what it was that knocked me down. I see, I see, a left hook. That was one hell of a punch. Thank God I can still stand after that. He's out of the he's out of the ordinary, that one. First time I've seen anyone get knocked down like that. It's not just his power that's out of the ordinary either. What surprised me the most was his speed. I've never encountered a fighter who could swing at such high speeds. Anyhow, it looks like you've recovered from the damage. Ready for what's next on the agenda? We've got to seal his power. And that speed. Despite our predicament, we've still got hope. When you put it that way, it's kind of depressing. <laughs> it's like, hey now, didn't you have a plan? It's like 33 fights. I have 33 fights worth of experience that I can rely on. And when I start thinking of what I could use, there's so many things. I don't know where to start. His speed and that destructive power. I'll seal both of I'll I'll seal both. Both of them off. Okay. Seconds out. I want to see how you're going to sh shut him down like that. You're going to shut down his power and his speed. How the hell are you going to do that? Like round two. The champ rushes straight out of his corner. You've got a lot of energy there. I'm not even in my fight fighting stance yet. He's like, okay, got it. And the challenger holds his ground, but... The champion is already closing in on him. Okay, Ippo steps in. He's like, I'm close enough now. I can hit him. Kill him, Makaruchi. Go get him. So he, Ippo throws a punch. And he's out of range again. What is going on? He's like, I can't reach him. I, unless he's like... Did he... Because I don't know if he messed up his depth perception. Because he didn't hit him like that much. I think he's doing something. Either he's either he's pushing his foot a little bit forward, like a, a little bit forward. I think that's what he's doing to trick him to kind of um to kind of negate um the depth perception that Ippo has because I think I mean, you can't really look at somebody's feet when you're fighting them. You can't watch their feet because if you watch their feet, you're going to get knocked out. So you can't really watch somebody's feet when you're fighting them. You got to watch their head movement and, you you know, upper body, torso. You can't really, you know, focus too much. And you got to watch shoulders. 
so you can know when punches are coming. You know what I'm saying? Like with, you know, so I think what he's doing, because Ippo is kind of um, using his feet to know if he's in reach. So I think the guy is pushing his foot out a little bit further than he usually would do to kind of throw off Ippo. I think that's what he's doing. I could be wrong, but, you know, it could be something else. We can't reach him. Why can I not reach him? Your feet are this close together. But, yeah, but he's probably pushing his feet out to make you think you're close enough to hit him because he's probably memorized your range. You get what I'm saying? So maybe that's what he's doing. So why is his head, why is it so far away? It's the same kind of feeling I had the end of the first round. It's like, what is it? Like, ha, ah, his right hand. His right hand is in front. That's impossible. I don't believe it. Ah, oh, he switched to Southpaw. He switched to Southpaw. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, it has to do... It, it, I mean, him switching to Southpaw kind of um, validates my theory because in Southpaw, your the foot... The other foot is forward. You get what I'm saying? So it's a misjudgment because you because when you switch to southpaw, right? Southpaw, your right hand is forward and you, you you're punching, you know, your power punches come from your left, right? So your left, right, you jab with your right, right? So it's the opposite of orthodox. So um, so that's what I was saying. Like when he said his right hand, I was like, ah, makes sense. Makes it makes a lot of sense. So he's like using the southpaw style. Okay. But he wasn't using that. So he's proficient in both. That's pretty cool. I never heard anything about this. It's like, I see why Ippo is being hesitant now. He has little to no experience fighting against southpaws. The only time I can remember is the one spar with that man he fought, he fought Sendo, but this is his first time in a real fight. So you've had a little bit of experience, I guess, you know, when did he do it? When did he make the switch? It's made things even harder now. Makanauchi, you're a hell of a champion, but you're too simple, straightforward. Take was able to memorize the power, speed, and range of all your punches thanks to that knockdown just sitting there will do you no good take the pace from him in times like these I have to rely on the basics start with a jab ha ah. he's like his extended right hands in the way and the way he's knocking my punches away is weird it's tough fighting against a southpaw jabs are harder to connect and it misses and it messes with your sense of distance it does it does when an orthodox fighter is fighting a southpaw i don't even know what to tell you guys what the strategy could be because it's always so weird it it looks weird from a visual standpoint you get what i'm saying it just looks weird because you know what i'm saying like you can kind of judge if you're throwing jabs, the person can just use their right. They can use their jab hand because they're coming from basically the same side. So they could use their right hand to just, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? If they can see your jab coming, they could just use their jab hand to freaking knock your jabs away. So it's like, so that's what he's doing to Ippo. So that's crazy. But anyway, it's going to take a pause here and do another part. Yeah, so we're back. So, yeah, so this is going to be a problem for him. It's a challenge for real. And I'm glad that they're introducing this to him now. Because I wasn't even thinking about this before. That is a possibility that he might end up fighting a southpaw paw at some point. And I'm glad that this is being introduced to him before he leaves this stage. You get what I'm saying? Because at least he'll have that experience, win or lose, you get what I'm saying? Win or lose, he'll have that experience to know that that is something he needs to work on. You know, so they're a rare breed. So he hasn't had many opportunities to spar with them either. Damn it. Senpai may lose the advantage now. Take he 
Take Kaichi's a damn sneaky bastard. It's like, yeah, he's a sneaky one. But what's so wrong about it? Huh? What's so wrong about using your head when you're falling behind? Aoki says. Nobody said anything. Nothing is wrong with it, Aoki. So I, you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just, it's a part of the game. I get it. But when somebody had this many tricks up their sleeves, it's just like, come on, bro. <laughs> you know? You've got to do whatever it takes to win, no matter what, says Aoki. This just shows how much he really wants to win that belt. Nah, like, huh? It's like, that was some response. There's some truth to what Aoki said. That old man normally uses an orthodox style. I don't know if switching to Southpaw was planned or on the spot, but he's definitely planning something. But it's a fact that he changed a tight spot into a chance. Mm. Hippo uses his opponent's foot position to gauge distance. He's striking when he thinks he's close, but in reality, he's far off. Discovering his opponent wasn't an orthodox boxer made that realization twice as surprising. And as a result, not only is his sense of distance being messed with, so is his head. Huh. Okay, final chapter for this read-through, guys. I should have just did this along with part two, to be honest. But anyways, regardless, here we are. Ah, uh, okay, so Ippo takes a punch, seems. Special distance. Hippo takes a punch. Takes looks like he's taking multiple punches. Okay. He can't grasp where the leading punch is coming from. This was unexpected. To think Makanouchi was this bad with South Paws. Yeah, it's kinda y'all fault too. This kid is a type to use what he practices in a real match. He's not a boxer who's able to make on-the-fly adjustments to accommodate for a sudden change of circumstances. In other words, he's hopeless when it comes to dealing with the unexpected. And if this keeps up, then all of the rounds to come will be taken. Jabs are coming in from somewhere different than usual, fighting against someone when their left and rights are reversed is really hard. It is. Makanochi's taking a beating from them jabs. It's like, man, oh man, Makanochi's being beaten. 33 bouts. Taki's got two times the mileage that this champion has. And he's just getting started. And, uh, this is getting really weird. Okay. I have to keep on punching. Punch. Yeah, but you're not punching at, at anything. Your range, your depth perception is gone. Because you don't, you, you're not stepping in to compensate for... The, the 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 distance i mean if i'm going to adjust on the fly or something like that i'm going to step in a little further that's what i would do i would step in a little further because obviously if i'm using your foot to gauge distance of where your foot is and now it seems like i'm just out of your reach maybe i'm missing by i want to say maybe like 6 to 12 inches i'm missing you by I'm going to step in a little further. That what, that's what I would do. I'm not going to continue to throw punches from the same position when I know it's been failing. Come on, Ippo, man. Use your brain. Don't do that with your guard down. You just end up getting countered that way. You know, his rhythm's been broken since his first time fighting against a southpaw. To think he'd be brought down like this. I mean, that's what I would try. I'm not saying that it would work. I'm just saying that's what I would try. I would try to make up for that distance every time I step in. I wouldn't just try and do the same thing. I would try to do something, but he's not doing anything. He's just doing what he learned, as you know. And he's like, Coach, we have to come up with some southpaw strategy Ippokan can use. It's like, so the kid's weakness is against southpaws. That's bullshit. Kid. Don't think your half-baked plans are going to keep on working. Stiffen that guard of yours up tight. Close the distance. It won't matter if he's a southpaw if you're close enough, which is what I'm trying to say. That's the exact thing that I would tell him to do too. It doesn't matter if it's a southpaw. You need to get in there. Compensate for the distance. You get what I'm saying? If you know when, if you're gauging by the, by the foot, Step in a little further, take an extra step or something to get to cover that distance. 
You know what I'm saying? He's got Ippo is one of the most compact punchers in 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 this manga that I've seen. Compact power. You know what I'm saying? Reminds me of Mike Tyson. Come on, man. Step in. He doesn't swing big to get power. So he he can get in there and do damage. It's like, right, if I can get a sense of distance, then get close enough, then it won't matter. And it's like, I'm going for it, okay? So he's stepping in. And the champion decides to charge right in, heading straight for the challenger with a firm guard in place. That's right, that's it. Take the pressure off yourself. Just one punch should be enough to kill him. <laughs> what will he do now? Maybe run away, or is he going to clinch again? He responded very well to his coach's voice. I was hoping to mess with his head some more, but he's assertive enough to listen to his advice. But, y'all seem to have the wrong idea. You've got plenty of other weaknesses. Okay, so... He's... he's okay... The belt's caught inside my web now. So he steps in. It's like, what's this? The challenger charges in too? <laughs> it's like, what the hell? He's going in with his guard up too? And the challenger assumes the same position. But he's much lower than the champ. And he rams into him from below. It's now a close range fight. Can they exchange punches at the distance they're at? Is this for real? Knock him down like in the first round. Give it to him, Makanauchi. Just the way we want it. Don't lose it here, kid. Loosen up his guard and beat him. And he's like, Taki's coach is like, I'm counting on you, Taki. Okay, so put his rams his shoulder into Ippo again. He's like, hit him, Makanauchi. You're within range now. Come on and kick his ass already, would you? I can only hit a small part of his back with my left, and my right hand's been completely sealed off. What should I do? What kind of punch could I possibly throw like this? <sighs> my Alright guys, that is my Ippo read-through for to today 10 chapters as I told you guys I am limited myself because I know this fight is going to go on for long so I don't want to do a, a long thing again and you know possibly get frustrated um so um so I'm cutting it off here I told you guys I'm going to cut it down to 10 chapters per read through um because that's what I'm used to doing anyways you know what I'm saying it's it's a volumes worth of chapters you know so um thank you guys for tuning in as always and i for all you guys that are watching over on patreon make sure when the video comes out on youtube you check out the review of course the next day and as always man i'll see you guys later thanks for coming through peace all right so take versus makanauchi Ippo, fight is juicy, fight is juicy, Ippo coming up for the first time against a Southpaw fighter, I didn't see that coming, but that is where we are, Take has switched, but he's like, he's saying that Ippo has multiple weaknesses, um, it's good for Ippo, if Ippo wins this fight, he is going to learn a lot from this fight, so, as I said, win or lose, he's going to learn a lot from this fight, I should say, right? So, him coming in, this guy coming in and kind of using his experience to kind of teach an Ippo, it's a well-needed fight for him. He's never been up against a Southpaw. I'm curious to see the other um, weaknesses that he's noticed for Ippo. Right, so if Ippo charges in, he's just gonna char charge back at Ippo, right? So I want to see how this fight goes because his intention is to go 10 rounds in this fight, and I can see it going 10 rounds based on how he's fighting, right? You know, because right now he has him at a place where he can jab for 10 rounds and win 
the rest of the round. He may have lost round one, but he can win the other nine based on the strategy he's using now because if Ippo charges into him to close the distance, he's just going to bump into him with his shoulder and cut it, cut off his punches and stuff like that. And these are little things that veterans do in boxing, you know, to a, you know, a beaming, a budding, good young fighter. These are stuff that, you know, veteran fighters will do because they know it's allowed, right? It's part of boxing. So they'll use that to their advantage to win, you know? Um, sometimes it's not always about a knockout. It's great to see, it's entertaining for the fans, but a lot of times you may hate, like for me, I don't like to watch Floyd Mayweather Jr. fight. I don't like to watch him fight, but I can't, I can't um, deny his greatness in the ring. The guy doesn't even go out there looking for knockouts most of the time. And sometimes he does get them, but that's not his forte. His forte is the box, and that's what he does to not get hit. That's his forte in the ring. So he's not going to go in the ring trying to slug it out with you. He's going to box for 12 rounds. You know what I'm saying? He goes in there prepared to go 12 rounds with you, but if he catches you off guard, he's going to put you down. So the thing about... um you know, um, this fight is, I think the most we're going to get out of it is a lesson. You get what I'm saying? I don't think Ippo is going to lose. I think he's going to figure something out. I think he's probably going to catch, um, Take off guard. I think he's going to catch him off guard for sure and put him down for good. You know, I think maybe we might see the Dempsey role in this fight. Um, you know what I'm saying? I think we're going to see the Dempsey roll in this fight. Um, we haven't seen it in a while. So I think we're going to see the Dempsey roll in this fight. I think he's going to figure something out to catch Take off guard and put him down. You know what I'm saying? Because no matter if you are a Southpaw or Orthodox, the Dempsey roll is a problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um... I think he's going to figure something out. And the match the match is good. I like it. I like how it goes because it's teaching Ippo a lesson. And you know, I complain about Ippo because one of the things I don't like about his character sometimes in the ring, even though he's a young fighter, he's got to learn these things. Ippo has a lot of experience that he goes into fights and he does not use. You get what I'm trying to say? It's like... I don't want to say the experience as in fighting style, but it's experience as in he knows that he's supposed to focus, but he doesn't. He more, he's a lot more concerned about the what the opponent is doing. You know, the last fight he did where he dominated, right, was the first fight I saw Ippo fight. And I was like, that's how I need you to focus in every fight. And he's back to his old ways again. You know what I'm saying? And I know the author does this on purpose to frustrate the hell out of the people that are reading this manga. You know, because you're like, why can't you just dominate? You're better than this guy. I know you're better than this guy. You get what I'm saying? But now that we see that what he's doing with this particular fighter, Take, with Ippo, I still not going to give him a pass for all that thinking and overthinking that he was doing that he was letting this guy get into his head. Not going to give him a pass for that, but I do understand why the buildup or why he was questioning himself. You get what I'm saying? Or why the author was doing this precisely for this fight. It's for the lesson, and I get it. It's for the lesson. He needs to learn this. He needs to have this experience before he moves on to the next stage, whether it be the world stage or, you know, OBPF. So... Yes, that's pretty much all I have to say, man. This was pretty good. Read these 10 chapters were good. I love them. Ippo will always be in my top five of animes um, and mangas, man. Great, great, great. It's a great read. <laughs> it's a great read, man. Exciting stuff. 
I enjoy it so much, especially when they do the announcing stuff. Like I like that. <laughs> I like to do the voice and everything. So thank you guys so much for coming through, man. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, I really do appreciate it, man. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for waiting. I know it's been a month since I did a read through for Ippo. Just keep coming up, and I keep forgetting to do it. Um, so, so today I made a conscious effort that I need to get Ippo because I always look about like I need to do Ippo today, and then because I do something else first i forget to do ippo I, it's weird <laughs> it's weird that's what always happened and so this this day i decided i'm going to do ippo first and then the other stuff after so here we are thank you guys so much for tuning in as always it's your boy terabyte reacts make sure you hit that like button make sure you leave a comment and also leave leave oh no hit that subscribe button if you're new and hit that notification bell. Why am I drawing a blank on my outro? Anyways, thank you guys so much. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.